So our natural logs, again, it's all based on our, our number E. So we've got, we're going to do a few examples here. You'll notice on your calculator there's an LN button close to your log button. That's just the natural log button. So sometimes we'll write it as LN of 3 equals 1.09. Now what I'm going to suggest, so that you understand what this means, we know that the, the natural log, basically, if we're rewriting this in a way for us to better understand it at this point, is this is just basically the log base E of 3 equals 1.099. So when you see LN, what I would suggest you do is write it in log form. So that you better understand what it means. So basically this is saying e to the one point, if we're putting it in exponential form, is equal to 3. Because remember we're switching back and forth. The base to the exponent is equal to the other number. So the base stays the same. Switcheroo on the other two. So in this first example, just understanding what LN means, it just means natural log, and basically that's log base E. You can just bring the number straight down uh, to write that. Any questions on with that? Okay, let's look at another example. Um, Let's say we have e to the fourth. We'll, we'll give you exponential form. And we're going to write it in log form or natural log form. So if I'm going to put this in log form, can somebody do that for us? How we would write, go from exponential to logarithmic form. This log base E 54.598 is equal to 4. And again, if I'm putting it in natural log form, the ln of 54.598 is equal to 4. So again, these two things here mean the same thing. Just making sure we understand that concept of what ln means. Okay, let's look at another one. So ln of e to the fifth. So if we rewrite this in log form, we're going to say this is log base e of e to the fifth now the reason I show you this one is we we have a log property that says this if the base is the same as this number when that occurs our solution is just simply this exponent. So we would just say this is equal to 5. Everybody understand what I just said there, the property? If the base is the same as the number written raised to an exponent, the exponent will always be your answer. Just to make sure you understand what I just said, if I gave you the log, let's just say base 
5 of 5 to the third, what would the answer be? It would just be 3. That's one of our log properties. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's say we have E raised to the natural log of E to the fifth. I'm going to say that's equal to Y. So if we put it in log form, we're going to say this is log base E, so we bring the E down. We're playing switcheroo, so it's log base E of Y is equal to the ln of E to the fifth. Again, it is sometimes a good idea for us to go ahead and just put it back into the ln form on both sides. So this is natural log of y equals the natural log of e to the fifth. And the reason I changed it that way is if I've got the natural log of y and natural log of e to the fifth, Basically, I can just then say that y is equal to e to the fifth. You could have done the same thing. You could have changed the natural log to log form, and it would have been the same thing. Let's look at one more. Let's say I have the natural log of 1 equals 0. Yep. So the natural log of 1 equals 0. We change that to log form. It's going to be log base E of 1 equals 0. Again, we'd say that that is E to the 0 power equals 1, and that should make sense to you. Anything to the 0 power is 1.